Following the coronavirus pandemic of 2020, face masks have become very common in everyday life. However, when Michael Jackson was first spotted wearing his own surgical garb in the mid-1980s, it just added to his odd public persona. Jackson's new item, like, Bubbles, the monkey and photos of him sleeping in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, were a topic of mockery and suspicion for the press and the general public. Over the years, numerous rumors and linked stories have surfaced. Plastic surgery mishaps, the AIDS epidemic, and the king of pop's extreme efforts to escape paparazzi intrusion were all suspected. So, what was Michael Jackson's true motivation for wearing surgical masks for so long? Michael Jackson used a surgical mask for the first time in June 1986. In his autobiography, Moonwalk, Jackson claims that after having his wisdom teeth removed, he was given a mask by a dentist to keep germs at bay. The mask was worn due to a recent image modification, according to the press at the time. The mask has nothing to do with the pollen count or the epidemic spread of a disease, according to People magazine, but has everything to do with a new, Kirk Douglas-style cleft in his chin. This claim was backed up by Jackson's appearance a month later with Liza Minnelli at her father's funeral, sporting a new dimple in his chin and a slightly enlarged jawline. Because of Michael Jackson's ever-evolving appearance during this time, articles surfaced claiming that his masks were required due to a series of botched plastic surgery procedures. In 1988, New York Magazine published an article alleging that Jackson used masks because he had undergone multiple rhinoplasties, leaving him with little nasal hair and so sensitive to airborne filth and bacteria. Many people assumed Michael Jackson was paranoid and germophobic because of the medical connection. During the AIDS pandemic of the 1980s, rumors circulated that Jackson was wearing surgical masks to protect himself from catching HIV. Others assumed he was trying to safeguard his voice by not inhaling the smog in Los Angeles or collecting diseases from fans during public engagements. This would explain why Michael Jackson wore masks while on tour and traveling worldwide, despite suffering from a variety of throat problems, including laryngitis, during his history tour. Jackson's autopsy revealed that he had suffered from severe lung ailments throughout his life. Michael Jackson's throat experienced long-term damage as a result of performing in smoky taverns and clubs throughout his boyhood. He sung every song live during his days with his brothers and even during the first leg of his bad tour, but this grew more difficult for the artist. Jackson put in a lot of effort to safeguard his voice, spending hours warming up and drinking almost boiling hot water. The masks were frequently worn to safeguard his voice and overall health when on long tours with thousands of fans waiting to see him perform. Michael Jackson, on the other hand, was most likely shielding himself from the public's more tangible threat, rather than any illness they could have been carrying. Michael Jackson has a reputation for being shy in public. As his celebrity grew, he became increasingly uncomfortable by the constant attention he would receive. Jackson wore sunglasses to the bulk of his appearances during the thriller era. He was frequently pressed to remove them for the photographers and admirers because he was seen as secretive and aloof. Alan Mintz, Michael Jackson's former tour attorney, said the masks were a superb concealment in 1988. First, if you see someone approaching you in a surgical mask, be alarmed. You do not embrace someone wearing a surgical mask, he said. The masks, like his distinctive fedora hat and sunglasses, gave him breathing room in public. Because he was trailed by cameras everywhere he went, the mask relieved him of the need to always look great, smile, speak, and perform. As he fought with vitiligo and lupus, becoming very allergic to the sun, his anxiety about his looks grew even stronger, giving him even more incentive to hide his face. Later in life, Michael Jackson was known to use decoys to get away from large crowds of fans and paparazzi. It was simply more practical at the time to disguise himself in a style that could be easily replicated by others. Although, as proved when Jackson visited London in 1996, this has drawbacks. It was too much for a Covent Garden fire eater to bear while wearing his characteristic hat and black medical mask. He mistaken the king of pop for an imposter and yanked off his surgical mask with vigor. When he realized it was Jackson, he complained that the superstar was stealing his business, but Jackson just smiled and tipped.